Hi, this is Karen Jansen from Cardio Golf, and this is your total body and core workout. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be shaping our body so that we're able to take our muscles through full range of motion. We're going to get stronger, we're going to get more flexible. So for this workout, you want to have um, a standard exercise ball like this. So we'll be doing nine different exercises, about eight to ten repetitions each, and then you can decide how many rounds that you want to do. So if you're just starting out working out, you probably just want to do one round. Um, if your fitness level is pretty good, but you, you still need to increase it, then you want to go through two rounds. And if you're um, you know, in good shape and you really want to get a good workout, try to go through three rounds. All right, so some of these exercises aren't appropriate for everyone, so you're going to have to decide for yourself what are the exercises that you're going to do and which ones you aren't going to do. And I'll try to help you modify as much as I can. So for this first exercise, we're just going to be doing a standard plank on the exercise ball. So if you want to use a mat to rest your knees on, I have very bony knees, so I need a mat. And what you're going to do is just get down on your knees and then lean on your elbows. So this right here might be challenging for some people. So this is a great exercise to really increase core stability. So a couple things here. Try to squeeze your elbows, try to um, engage your core. So that means pulling your belly button into your spine. And right here, we're just holding this exercise for about 20 to 30 seconds right here. So it's just a plank on your knees. So if you want to go ahead and try to increase this, you can go ahead and come up onto your toes like this. Try to keep your seat down. You don't want your rear end up in the air. You're trying to just hold this plank right here. Your hips are square. You're squeezing your shoulders. You're spreading your elbows apart to really engage your core right here. So you can hold it here. You can also try this up on your hands like this. You can see the ball is unstable, so you really have to work your core to do this exercise. So you hold it here, hold it here. If you want to add a couple of push-ups, you can do a push-up on the ball right here. So again, some of these aren't appropriate for everybody, but these are great exercises to get that core activated to warm up. So this is the first exercise right here. up and down from the floor and that's part of the workout so it's good exercise to get down and come back up it helps you with your functional uh, fitness so the next exercise we're going to be doing is standing up in a modified golf stance like this so try to keep your shoulders back and down try to press your heels into the floor and we're just going to be squatting and once you squat down and set this ball on the ground then you're going to push the ball out really reach as far as you can, roll it back in, and then stand up. So this is a squat with a reach. Good, so this is a great exercise for your legs, for your back, for your core. Try to keep your abs pulled in, and then you can modify and go a little bit faster if you want to. Good, you can even add a reach at the top here, and then a reach at the bottom. So do about eight to 10 repetitions. Good, start out slowly at first, and then if you want to pick up the pace and go a little bit faster. Good, squat with reach. Good, this should really get your heart rate up. Reach that ball. Nice. Good, drive those heels into the floor. About eight to 10 repetitions. All right, good. Set right here. Good, my heart rate's getting up. Nice, guys. All right. All right, for the next exercise, you want to go ahead and lay on the mat again. So again, like I said, getting up and down from the floor, standing up is good exercise. So we're going to do a little hamstring curl, something for our legs, but this is also going to work our core. So hopefully you can see me here. I'm gonna lay on the mat right here and just press my heels into the ball. So your triceps and palms press into the mat. Your shoulders are down away from your ears. From here, engage your core. That means keeping that belly pressed into the back right there. And then you're just going to lift up onto a bridge right here. So you can see I'm lifting my hips up. So this might be challenging for some people. So you can just do this little hip bridge right here where you lower down 
you roll the ball out and then lift up right here. So this could be the first modification right here. So again, about eight to 10 repetitions. If you wanna pick it up and go a little bit uh, stronger, you're gonna lift up onto your heels, into that bridge. Your hips stay lifted and then you're curling the ball to your rear end. So you're really digging in with your heels. You're keeping your feet flexed. You're keeping your core engaged. Your triceps and palms are pressing into the mat and you're curling with your hamstrings. Really grabbing with those hamstrings, trying to keep those hips up high. Good, great exercise. I feel this all in my hamstring. So eight to 10 repetitions. Good, curl back. Really try to keep those hips up high. Reach out. And then don't just plop down when you're done. Hold it here and then slowly articulate down and then you can sit up. All right, for the next exercise, get that mat out of the way there. We're going to be doing an exercise to separate the upper and lower body. So I call it core rotators standing on a ball. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be squatting down, and again, this is a challenging exercise for a lot of people. So if you wanna have people just kinda of stay here and maybe stand up and do that little squat, that's fine. But if you wanna go ahead and add that separation, what you're going to be doing is really reaching your arms, sitting into your heels, and then you're gonna roll the ball to the right side. Reach your arms, try to keep your hips and um, knees square, and then go to the other side. Good. So try to have uh, your heels pressed into the ground and you're reaching the ball from side to side. Good, so you're separating your upper body from your lower body and you're reaching. Good, and you're staying low and you're pressing in with your heels. And you're going side to side for about eight to 10 repetitions. So you would count one, two, three, all the way up to 16 so that you do eight reps on each side. Good, and then slowly stand up. So keep your heart rate going. So I call these around the world. So you're gonna hold this ball like it's a big globe, and then we're just gonna reach the ball up here, keep your shoulders back and down, and then we're gonna take it around the world. So you're gonna squat down, reach the ball to the floor, scrape it at the bottom, and then reach up. So go one direction for about eight to 10 repetitions. And again, you can pick it up the pace and go a little bit faster. Reach, try to keep pressing those heels into the floor, keep your abs pulled in. And reach, keep those arms nice and long. And then hold it at the top. And then go the other direction for eight to 10 repetitions. Good. So anytime you get your hands up above your head, it really makes your heart pump. So get your heart rate going. So you can see I'm really getting my heart rate going here. Good, so this is a great low impact workout, but we're getting a little bit of cardio in there too. All right, let's work our lower body a little bit. So go ahead and lunge to one side. So I always start on my right side so I remember what side I started on. And I'm just getting into a lunge position right here, like this. So for the first exercise, you're gonna lunge down right here and then you're reaching the ball out, pulling it back in. So you're just staying in that lunge position. Good. Then if you wanna modify and add lowering the back knee, coming back up. Lowering the back knee, coming up. Lunge with a lift and lower of that knee. Good. So you're trying to press that heel into the floor. You're trying to get your knee and your toe aligned and you're trying to lower that back knee. So do eight on one side, and then twist it, and then you're going to do the other side. So again, you can stay here and go back and forth like this, or you can add that little up and down. Good, so you, you need to modify if you have to, depending on your fitness level, things that are going on with your joints. Get lower down and reach. So you can see, <laughs> this is getting my heart rate up. I'm starting to get a little bit of a sweat. So imagine if you do this for three rounds, you'll get a great workout. Good. And then slowly come up, bring your feet together and stand up. All right, from here, stand up, hold the ball like this, and we're going to do a traditional wood chop exercise. So what you do is 
You're going to squat down as if you were going to touch the ball to the ground on one side and then power up, fling your arms up to the other side. So this is the same sequence we use in golf. You load your weight, you shift your weight, and then you fling your arms. So this is a great exercise. So you can keep your heels pressed and reach your arms, or if you want to power up and add a little bit of rotation, you can do that. And again, you can do this slowly. It's not always easy, slower. Or you can pick up the pace and go a little bit faster. So we do eight on this side, here, and then switch and do eight on the other side. Good, reach those arms, power that core. Good, you can do that little twisty motion with your hips if you want to. Try to get down low, eight on this side. All right, so this next exercise is very advanced. So I'm gonna show you the advanced version and then I'll just show you how to modify. So this is gonna be great for your balance, for your lower body. So you have to carefully set your foot on the ball like this. This might be challenging for some people, so you just have people stay here. But if you can, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge and come back up. So we're getting a lot of balance on that standing leg. The ball is unstable, so you really have to keep your core steady. And you have to do this slowly. So we'll do eight on this side. My heart rate's up, so I gotta steady myself. Good. Working that front leg a lot. Nice. And then of course you wanna switch and do on the other side. So <laughs> this is the hardest part, just getting into this position right here. So I would recommend that you just be careful with this. And then you're gonna do lunges here. So put your hands on your hips like here. Put your hands out here or pray like this. Whatever it takes to keep your balance. Get lower down with control, come back up. Really work that front leg. So do eight on this side. Good. So for the modification, like I said, just standing in this position is great or don't even use the ball. Just put it to the side and then just go into a reverse lunge like this. So do repeaters. So do eight on one side like this. Great exercise. And then switch and make sure you do the same amount on this side right here. So it's just a reverse lunge and it's a really great exercise for your lower body. All right, so the last exercise here. Grab the ball again. We're going to do a squat with an overhead press. So I'll show you the modification. So modified golf stance, you're gonna squat down and then press this ball above your head. Good, and then you're trying to get down low, trying to actually touch the ball to the ground and really extend up. Again, this is the same sequence as the golf swing. You load, shift, and fling your arms. Good, and you go up and down, up and down. If you wanna add a little bit of power to it, you'd actually jump and land lightly. Jump and land lightly, jump and land lightly. So you can make the workout as hard as you want to. All right, so those were nine different exercises. What you should do is try to do that one more time. If you can, do up to three sets.